Coast. Tropical storm How Long is making its way toward our area, scheduled to pass through the Rota Channel as we speak. As well, winds and rains will be especially dangerous after How Long makes its closest point of approach. These stronger winds and rains may last hours after the CPA. We'll let you know when it is okay to leave your home. On top of the dangerous winds and rains, the roads are extremely dangerous. You'll either hydroplane in the pool of water, flooding most mostly every roadway, or you'll hit branches and trees blocking streets. Several roads are impassable. The Department of Public Works crews have been fixing these problems as they're reported, but every road made possible is followed by the report of another impassable road. So again, stay off our island roadways. And with more now on flooding, here is Ken Quintanizo with that story. What normally looks like a road appears to be a river today and several areas on Guam are deemed impassable due to heavy flooding and down vegetation, including here along West O'Brien Drive in Haganya. Franco has been a resident for over eight years. Lucy, can you tell me how do you feel about the flooding here today? Well, it is unfortunate, but we are used to it and we are well prepared. We have our sandbags, we taped our door, and we're just staying indoors and riding out the What kind of things have you guys? I know you guys need your car. Yeah, we always do that. Um, we always do our car on the other side because uh, if we need to go somewhere, uh, the other side of the um, our street is possible. And um, and I know that um, you guys are basically stuck in your house right now. Yes, that's what you And have you informed uh, the mayor or anyone about these problems? Well, they know, they know about it. Much they can do because we live on a sea level and there's nowhere for the water to go, unfortunately. Anything that you want to add about the flooding here during the storm? No, this guy, stay safe. Thanks again, Lucy. Don't forget, motorists, motorists are advised to drive across the state and possibly stay on the road until the weather clears up. Again, reporting for Guam News Network here in Haganya, I'm Ken Kitsaniza. Thanks, Ken, again, reporting from the central part of our island. Our Jolene Tovis now reports from Mingila from one of the emergency shelters. Jolene. I'm here at George Washington High School, which is one of the six emergency shelters, and I'm with Mr. Ponzalan. Can you share with us um, how many families are here today? Okay, well, currently, if you look at our board, we have uh, five families, a total of 36 shelters. Um, those are the only ones that have come in so far. Um, we usually have more, but right now these are the only families that have uh, actually come to our so shelter. So how, how is the shelter running? Is it running smoothly so far? Super smooth. Super smooth, yeah. Everything is everything's really good. We're well staffed. Um, families are comfortable now because it's dry, they're safe, um, so we're not really having any problems. All right, and they're all sheltering where? Inside our gym. Okay. And, and, and is it is it cordon off? How is it? Is it just open space? No, the families will stay inside the gym. They will be allowed to come outside. We're, they're not in prison, so they'll be able to come outside if they need any fresh air. But they do have restrooms inside the gym, so they could take care of any uh, sanitary issues that they have to inside. And uh, it's nice and neat. They have their own little areas that they, they select. So. Do you know how many families or what's the individual capacity that you can accept here at GW? I believe at GW we're about... Uh, the most we could take, I think, is about 180. All right. 180. So we're well below that. So, you know, if there's any families out there in the Minyala area or central area, if they need to come in, then please. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Jolene, reporting from George Washington High School. Now, as a result of the inclement weather, the Guam Power Authority reported that throughout the island, power outages were being experienced. GPA has been fixing outages since last night. And according to GPA spokesperson Art Paris, restoration continues to major circuits. He adds that areas of Laddie Heights to Pocket and Mingilao, as well as Jotnia to Elik Bridge, down toward Itarahan, are completely out of power. He asks that we please keep in mind that it is particularly difficult to conduct restoration as the winds are preventing the agency to use their bucket trucks. Paris says that after the closest point of approach, GPA will continue with power restoration. Power fluctuations are anticipated as power is being restored. Please report any power outages down or damaged lines to 475-1472. Again, that number is 475-1472. For more on Tropical Storm How Long, stay tuned to KUAM.
This storm update is presented by McDonald's.